Welcome inside the State Champs Sports Network studio and welcome to State Champs Extra Innings, the weekly high school baseball show here in the state of Michigan. I'm Lauren Plant and I've got recaps. Got a sampling of the interview I conducted with Forest Hills Eastern head coach Ian Hearn and we'll preview some matchups we're looking to cover next week should Mother Nature behave. But before all that, I need to let you know Extra Innings is presented by Lawrence Tech. If you have the dream of college baseball, recruit yourself at L2Athletics.com. Now, without any further ado, let's recap what we covered on the State Champs Network this week. We start off with a Monday night matchup between Clarkson and the defending Division I champs, Grand Blank. Notre Dame commit David Lally pitching for the Bobcats, and he was stellar, picking up two Ks in two clean innings of work. In the third, Wolves strike with a runner on third. Mason King, a single into center field. That brings Luke Spicer home, Clarkson up one. Bobcats flashing a little leather. Spicer with a rocket to short. Francisco Dion with a diving grab for the out. We jump into extras now. Bottom eight, two on, and Seth Osterman at the dish. He fires a moonshot into deep left field, and that will walk it off. Three run Jack as Graham Blank wins it 4-1 to one over Clarkson. Jump now to a Catholic League clash. The number one team in the nation, Orchard Lake St. Mary's, the Eaglets, taking on Division I semifinalists and the number three team in the baseball coaches' preseason poll, the Brother Rice Warriors. The number seven ranked player in the nation, Brock Porter on the hill for the Eaglets. He was electric, didn't allow a single base runner until the fourth inning. St. Mary's with a four run lead thanks to some good base running of their own, but in the top of the sixth, the bats came alive. Runners on first and second for Ike Irish. He hits a grounder into center field. That scores Jack Crichton. That increased the lead to five. Bases loaded now for the Tennessee commit, Blake Grimer. He takes it the other way for a single into right field. Nolan Schubart and Irish come in to score, and it was 7-0. Then with runners on second and third, Jake Dresselhaus gets a pitch he can handle, drives it right back up the middle. That gave Orchard Lake 10 runs. Brock Porter back out to finish off the sixth inning, picks up his 11th strikeout of the game. That capped a fantastic no-hitter. He allowed one walk on 47 pitches. Congratulations. To an OAA MAC crossover as Lake Orion welcomed in the Norsemen from Gross Point North. Central Michigan commit Evan Waters on the mound for Lake Orion. He gave up just two hits, zero runs in six innings. That also came with 13 strikeouts. The Lake Orion bats were in fuego. Casey Robertson singles down the third baseline, driving in Evan Waters and Carson Davendorf. That made it a 4-0 game. Waters would help his cause at the plate, hitting one deep to left center, driving in Joey Bruno to put the Dragons up a seven spot. Carson Koch closes it out in the seventh, getting the strikeout to end the game. Lake Orion shuts out Gross Point North, 7-0 the final. And finally, we head to Beverly Hills, where Detroit Country Day was hosting Oxford. The Yellow Jackets coming in 4-2 and two on the season, bottom of the first, and it's the U of M football recruit, Brandon Mann, with a bomb over the wall in left center. Country Day led three zip in the bottom of the fifth when Luca Bono with a 3-1 triple. That increased the lead to six. Jackets cruising. And shout out to the Yellow Jackets' Clay Harchie, who had a no-hitter through five innings, but out of the game he went. And the Wildcats manufactured six runs of their own in the top half of the sixth, and that tied the game at six. But bottom of the inning, Country Day responded, scoring three more runs. Former Tigers Brandon Inge's son, the sophomore Tyler Inge, with a rocket to the wall in right. The Michigan commit driving in a pair of runs. They scored three and win it 9-6. to six. Hi, I'm Laura Ramos with DMC Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine with today's Game Changers Pop Quiz. True or false? Most field and court sports do not allow an athlete to reach their maximum speed. The answer is true. During most field and court sports, athletes rarely sprint for longer than two to three seconds, and therefore they rarely reach their maximum speed. Instead, athletes are relying on their acceleration speed. Acceleration describes how quickly 
an athlete can get to their maximum speed. Because in sport, most of the time athletes are accelerating, decelerating, and changing direction, it is just as important to train your acceleration speed as it is your maximum speed. Do you have a sports injury or are you just looking to take your game to the next level? Then go where the pros go. DMC Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine. For immediate care, call 313-910-9328 or visit dmc.org slash game changers. I want to take a moment to thank the Michigan High School Baseball Coaches Association for partnering with State Champs. Every week on the show, we have a segment called In the Dugout, where I talk with a head baseball coach from around the state of Michigan. This week, I had an opportunity to talk with Forest Hills Eastern's Ian Hearn. He's a soon-to-be Hall of Famer. Here's a sample from that discussion. Was there a time that uh, uh, maybe you thought you might go back you know, to college baseball or maybe even you know, a level beyond that? Or were you convinced that uh, high school is where you belong? Well, I I enjoy high school. I enjoy yeah. high school baseball. Um, you know, I think deep down, whether like for our profession, I, you know, I think you know, at one point everybody's driven in their prof profession to see how far they can go. Um, whether it's education, you maybe it's superintendent uh, or principal. Yet yeah, if you're coaching, maybe it's move to the college or even move to the professionals. But I will have to tell you, <clears throat> I've been very, very content and I really enjoy education and also coaching high school. Um, Coach, Coach Boss, who's fantastic, Jake Boss, um, provided me with an opportunity where I had the opportunity to be um, a volunteer assistant for a year at Michigan State University. And that was absolutely amazing. It, it is addicting because you're you're working with super elite athletes yeah. that have the same vision as you and you're around that type of crowd all the time. Um, however, um, I do like being a dad and being home and being involved with my own children and also the community and those types of things as well. So uh, Coach Boss gave me a bucket list opportunity and it was fantastic. You can listen to the entire conversation I had with Coach Hearn on the Extra Innings Companion podcast. You can find it at Spreaker.com or whatever platform you listen to your podcast. Just search State Champs Extra Innings. We'll also have a standalone video of the conversation on the State Champs Michigan social media pages or on our website, StateChampsNetwork.com. Now, before we go, here are some of the games we plan on covering on the network early next week. Now, this is a huge caveat. If the weather does not cooperate, we will adjust and film some other games. But right now, this is what we're looking at. There are three on Monday that have piqued our interest. Ranked 19th in Division I, Holt is traveling to take on D1's fourth-ranked squad in Grand Ledge. Plymouth has started the season out hot, but a huge challenge in Division I's sixth-ranked team, Livonia Stevenson. D3's seventh-ranked Paywamo Westphalia is on the road at Division I's number 11, Detroit Catholic Central. And finally, on Tuesday, Muskegon Reith Puffer will have all they can handle as they travel to take on Division II's 12th-ranked Zeeland East. Now, like I said, all of that is weather permitting. Now, if you have games you'd like us to film here on State Champs, big matchups coming up, please send us an email. Contact us at statechampsnetwork.com is the address. New episodes of Extra Innings drop Fridays across the State Champs Network. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Lauren Plant. Let's do it again next week. State Champs Extra Innings is presented by Lawrence Technological University. LTU offers over two dozen varsity sports for men and women, along with several dozen world-class undergraduate programs. Athletic and academic scholarships available. Visit ltuathletics.com and recruit yourself. Also brought to you by the Michigan High School Athletic Association, promoting the value and values of educational athletics. The Detroit Medical Center Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine Team. Do you have a sports injury or are you just looking to take your game to the next level? Go where the pros go. Visit dmc.org slash game changers. The Detroit Athletic Club Foundation's Male and Female Athlete of the Year Awards. Who will be this year's Male and Female Athletes of the Year? Find out live Monday, June 6th, only on the State Champs Michigan Network. The U.S. Navy is recruiting. Call 313-315-2560 and talk to a local officer to find out how the Navy can take you anywhere from the sea to the stars. 
Oakland School's technical campuses are designed for any student who wants to graduate high school with industry certifications, on-the-job experiences, business connections, and college credits. Check them out at OSTCOnline.com. And the Michigan High School Baseball Coaches Association. For information on awards, clinics, rankings, and this year's two All-Star Games, visit MHSBCA.org.